the ACC championship game. Clemson and North Carolina, and just two weeks ago, there was the possibility that this game would have been a playoff game because you had North Carolina with only one loss. You had Clemson uh, at that point with no losses. I mean, we had we had a lot of things looking forward to this. And Clemson, of course, has lost twice in November now. North Carolina has lost the last two weeks. Both teams kind of uh, hobbling into this one. Clemson, a 7.5-point favorite. The total sits at 63.5. This game at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's 8 p.m. Eastern time on ABC. Uh, Parker, I want to start with you here. Clemson, 4-9 and nine against the spread after a spread loss, which they certainly took last week. Uh, it's an emotional letdown spot, maybe. Uh, but again, as I mentioned, this is for a conference championship game. Uh, they took their first loss in eight years to South Carolina last week at home, and that broke their 40-game home winning streak. Uh, DJ Uyunglele is... It seems like he's gotten worse throughout the season. It's, he he had certainly improved through the middle of the year, and then that Syracuse game happened, and it's like all of his confidence went away. He was 8 of 29 passing last week for 99 yards, one touchdown, one pick against South Carolina, but he did have 12 carries for 51 yards and one touchdown. You just look at these overall numbers. Clemson over the last five weeks, number 129 in PPA per pass. Uh, now, that is maybe offset a little bit by the fact that they were number 13 in PPA per rush uh, over that same time span. But it, I, I would imagine against this North Carolina defense, they should be able to find some success and get some of that confidence back. What, what do your numbers say on this one, Parker? Um, yeah, so I, I, I don't have a, um, a, a play here. I think I would lean towards North Carolina if I was going to pick this game. Um, I, I will say that this is a weird mix of teams who are both worse than their record shows. I think Clemson, because they have an absolute talent advantage and their depth just pushed them over some teams like Syracuse and got some wins. North Carolina is particularly annoying to me because I had them at under seven and five, seven and five on the regular season, under 7.5 of the regular season. And they currently are sitting at nine and three with five, one score wins. Um, it, you know, three point wins over Miami, Duke, Virginia, two point win over Wake Forest. That's very annoying for my season team totals there. On the flip side, you talk about DJU being lacking confidence. I mean, how could you not if every time something goes the littlest bit wrong, they replace you with a guy who's not ready to be a quarterback there. And then after the game, coach says, no, DJ's our guy. And then keeps pulling you out in in in. Um, uh, key situations. I think what we've seen from DJU is that he's raised the floor on the negative plays this season, but because of that instability and that uncertainty, his ceiling has actually come down. Last season, he had a lot of variability. Now that window is closed and the mean is lower. It's it's an interesting case study in quarterback management. Um, will be interesting to see what Clemson can do because North Carolina's defense is 129th in EPA per pass compared to Clemson's 85th on offense in EPA per pass. But that's not like good defenses have just foiled Clemson. That's like Clemson has been incompetent in the pass game. Can they exploit a North Carolina defense? I don't even know if they can put together enough offense to, to even move the ball consistently down the field. Um, as well, they'll have to rely on the rush game a lot. We'll see if that'll let them keep up with a Clemson or sorry, a North Carolina offense that is very, very good here. Sixth in EPA per pass. Um, I think they'll absolutely test this Clemson defense overall. They finished drives really, really well. 4.90 points per echo for North Carolina. That's eighth in the nation. Um, this is going to be a Clemson team that wants to play slow, play physical, run the ball, and just try and control this game. North Carolina is going to try and press the tempo, spread it around, make this a shoot out because I think they believe they can win a shootout. Um, and so overall, I think that uh, uh, North Carolina probably keeps this close would be my lean, but I don't know how to play just because motivation factors are very different here um, uh, overall. And part, so before I get Kylan here, Parker, I got to ask you about this. Does it worry you at all that North Carolina's offense has has slowed down considerably in the last two weeks? I mean, only 21 points or excuse me, 17 points against Georgia Tech, only 24 in regulation against the NC State last week. Uh, overall in the season, they were number six at PPA per drive. But over the last five weeks, they are number 35 in PPA per drive. Uh, I mean, the defense has improved a little bit from number 126 to number 103, but uh, does it does it worry you, or do you think that maybe that offense it just hasn't done a whole lot, knowing that they weren't going to get into the playoff, and uh, maybe they were saving it up for this game? It's kind of unfair for me to say, like, hey, they turned it off, but, like, Georgia Tech is a combination of two things. One, a team who kind of was getting things figured out on the defensive side of the ball down the stretch relative to Georgia Tech standards. 
Um, and so that wasn't a great performance. You can count that as kind of an off day. And then NC State has a legitimately good defense. Um, and so I think that that's something that matters. That's a rivalry game as well. So I don't want to ascribe that to a trend um, overall. But I mean, it also has to be taxing that they played. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight games. So, so six of six of seven straight games were one score fairs for for North Carolina there. That's that's really tough. And and maybe there is a little bit of a stamina issue there. But in terms of their ability to just pop off a big play, I, I think that they're still poised to do a lot here. Um, and maybe there was a little look ahead with NC State um, overall after after taking that second loss to, to Georgia Tech. So, um, yeah, I, I again, I think you could ascribe a lot of momentum or sorry, uh, motivation here to North Carolina to see what they're ready to play for. But also I do think that just we're at the period where it is just kind of a grind. I mean, you don't have a huge talent advantage over your opponents. There are going to be weeks where you just can't get things together. I get, I, that does make sense. Kyle, I want to bring you in here. Uh, feels to me like the goal for Clemson is just to hand the ball off. I mean, they're number 20 in rushing success over the last five weeks. North Carolina's defense is number 73 in that metric, and they are down a lot of defensive linemen, et cetera. Like it, they've had some injury concerns, obviously, this year. Uh, number 18 in stuff rate allowed is Clemson's offense, and North Carolina is number 103 in that one. Uh, I feel like if they if they run the ball and don't allow North Carolina's offense on the field, uh, yeah, you'll probably win and you'll probably cover if you're Clemson. Um, that's the only thing that would worry me about maybe an over here because this thing opened at 62 as far as the total. It's up to 63 and a half. Uh, if Clemson just you know doesn't put the ball in the air a lot, then maybe there's – now obviously they would have to control the game script from the very get-go. But I'm curious your thoughts on this one, Kyle. Well, I mean, at first I kind of wonder why Clemson didn't run the ball more last week. You know, they throw 29 passes, get 99 yards. They were running well. Like, I, I don't know why they didn't run more because it's not like they were in a bad game script to run for the majority of that game. So I'm surprised yeah, they, had they a didn't lead. run. I know. They were ahead <laughs> the majority of the game, and they're still trying to throw. I don't really know why. The other thing is that I try not to say too much about this on here about the playoff committee rankings, but the ACC is absolutely overrated in the rankings. There's no way that those teams are as good as they're ranked. Um, Clemson's number nine in the rankings. They're 49th in net yards per play margin this year. Despite playing the 55th ranked schedule, Clemson is not nearly as good as their ranking. Um, now, North Carolina. Should North Carolina be trusted by anyone? I don't want to trust North Carolina. I mean, look at the way they've been playing. Um, especially the way they're trying to finish out these games. Um, you know, they won those one-score games earlier, like Parker said, and then lately they've just been uh, falling apart. And I, I think UNC, uh, they lack the ability to pressure the quarterback. So if Clemson actually does drop back to pass, DJ probably not under near as much stress as he's been under uh, against with the defenses in the past here. UNC was 16 sacks all year. So just uh, no... No pressure coming there. I think both teams really should have success on offense in this game. It's just hard to take over such a high number when I do think that Clemson will try to run and play keep away a bit here. So um, I would lean North Carolina team total over, thinking that North Carolina can stay in this game. Uh, that would be my only lean in this game. But uh, it's it's hard to trust North Carolina's offense even at this point. Like you said, the last couple of weeks have been pretty bad. North Carolina State is a very good defense. Uh, it's hard to pass off Georgia Tech, you know, too much. But, um, you know, in, in this one, I think both teams are overrated. So I kind of want to bet against both of them. And they're playing each other. So what am I supposed to do? It's, I'm with you. It, it, so no official play on this game from any of us. But uh, there's a lot of different ways that you could look at it. Uh, it if, if Clemson runs the ball, like this might this might be a live betting game. Uh, so, so make sure that you are signed into your BetUS account for sure. But that... Just to see how this game starts off, I think that's going to be really intriguing uh, because looking at it from right now, I, I still don't understand what Clemson was doing on offense last week uh, when they had a lead, and you could tell that the passing game wasn't working, and yet they continued. I mean, 8 of 29 passing is just absurd. Uh, just run the ball, guys. What, what are we doing? 